My precious family of heart dwellers, may the Lord sustain us and may we look only to Him for all of our needs. Yesterday, one of our core group members got a random message from our website, heartdwellers.org, that said the rapture had been delayed. It troubled me very much, so I went to our website and clicked on the random message pool. And what did I get from more than 1,400 messages? The rapture has been delayed. It took me a while to catch my breath and consider what this could mean for us. And when I came back to my senses, I exclaimed, Lord! Jesus began immediately. I am here for you. I know the disappointment you feel, and I've already made provision for it. Springtime will be a source of joy for all. I know how you feel and how tired you are. Can I not restore you so that you can move forward and keep moving forward? Actually, it is a really good thing because you will truly fulfill your calling if you are willing, and the last years of your life will be more productive than the first. That is because I am empowering you, and because of this, it won't be the same. Lord, why the delay? Why the delay, you ask? Because you prayed for your president and had his back? You did not slack off. You did not cave in to oppression. Rather, you continued to offer your prayers and yourself for him. Now comes the reward. And of course, he's talking about all of us who've been praying behind the president. You are not alone in this deep bone fatigue. My whole body is feeling it. And that's why a supernatural empowering from my spirit is coming. I could not have told you this much sooner because this just came from the Father. It is His prerogative to delay or go forward with rapture. It is His decision, and I am telling you now. I knew that when you got wind of this, you wouldn't want to believe it. I know the depth of your fatigue in all areas, but I have a gift for you, a gift the enemy cannot thwart. I will ask you to continue in spiritual warfare and put aside your sloth in this area and your aversion. As your enemies read this, they will think they have a golden opportunity to bring you totally down. But this I will not allow. And what they sow against you, they shall reap. So be warned, those of you who hate this vessel, what you speak against her shall be your own undoing. I'm reversing the tide of suffering you have been swimming against, Claire. Rather, you shall swim in the current of my grace and empowering. Your destiny shall not be thwarted. It shall come forth shining like the dawn. This message is for all heart dwellers who have been giving the substance of their lives for the good change that is soon to overtake the world. Many of you have had time to reflect on the things you didn't get done, on the vices you still have, on the things you avoided. This is your chance to correct these faults and grow in holiness. The world is about to change. The atmosphere is about to change. And all I can tell you is that things will not be so very difficult for the veil of oppression will lift, and you will feel it. You will be walking in the graces your laboring prayers have released. The possibilities are endless for those who correspond to the graces which are coming. To those who don't, you might as well roll over and pull the covers over your head and go back to sleep. This season is not for sleeping, it's for completing my will on earth. Yes, you are still in the season of the rapture. Those of you born in 1948 are the generation that will see the completion of prophecies that have been written in the ancient past about Israel. So that means 80 to 120 years from 1948, Lord? 
No, I do not count 120 as a generation. That was not the case in the day when I spoke this prophecy. Many now live to be in their 90s. Now, please do not stress over this. I am going to take very good care of you, my brides. Empowerment is coming. Joy is coming. New life is coming. Please trust me in this. It is a release of grace that will change everything that is willing to be changed. And this is interesting uh, because I've been getting Rhema cards from my Rhema card box um, that say, I'm going to give you new life. I'm bringing you new life. I've been fairly consistent for a few days, almost a week. And it made me wonder <laughs> if really, if possibly the rapture might for some reason be delayed. And as far as the time frames, he's not spoken to me about it, but um, one of the core group here was familiar, more familiar with the prophecies the Lord gave me uh, in 2016 and 2017 called my attention to the fact that I had, the Lord had told me that we had five years. And when things started getting really bad, and he was telling us that the rapture was on the horizon and that we had to pray to save our country, but it really interrupted that five years. And it really concerned me because it moved the rapture, you know, closer to now. There was a reason for it, and I'll go into that here as, as I continue to tell you what he had to say. You have labored for me. Now comes a reward, so you can continue laboring, but even on a higher level than before. Take heart, precious ones. Grace is coming and will overtake you. You are my beloved. I truly want you to go forward now. Don't waste any time. Help me to bring my kingdom in. You have an integral part in what I want to do, but you've been heavily oppressed and downtrodden. Now I am lifting the curse so that you can receive the new life I'm giving you. And here he's speaking to the tired body of Christ. I'm not done with you yet. Contrary to what the enemy has been planting in your mind, this change in plans brings with it a whole lot of new hope, empowerment, and action. Lord, forgive me for questioning, but I do not understand, or do I, why others in the body have been saying, what wonderful time is coming, and now it seems that it will be so. Dearest, have I not explained this to you before? If everyone thought it was going to be wonderful, who would be praying? I have used my messages to light a fire in the hearts of those who care, and they have prayed. I have told all in my body that success depended upon prayer. I have said your country is in your praying hands, and if there's enough prayer, things will go well. If not, the end approaches. This statement of mine has brought home to my people that truly, your nation was on the precipice and only your prayers and fasting could reverse the direction. I have stated this over and over again, and all of you have responded over and over and over again. Thus your country stands, and so does the world, by the way. The horrors of an adrenochrome society go beyond insanity. Satan himself has embodied this practice and seared men's consciences shut as they consented in order to gain promotion and power. Truly, it is not to be believed without very hard evidence, and such evidence abounds. Do you know that the suffering and blood of these victims has been a vicious martyrdom that the Father has received on behalf of fallen and degenerate mankind? This is very much like the slaughter of the innocents that Herod ordered. The death of those innocent children 
was received in heaven as the blood of the martyrs. All things have a purpose, Claire, and in heaven you will rejoice to see these little ones restored and joyful without any remembrance of the horrors of their death. I miss nothing of your sacrifices, be they ever so tiny, they are noted and appreciated. Contend for the faith, my dear ones. Contend to move forward in greater and greater faith. Do not let the gloom and doom cast over you have a resting place. Let my sunshine joyously melt it all away. I am excited about our future, and there is much for us to do together. <laughs>